terms of how Nina Turner. the nurses and other folks who believe in this cause with enough courage to stand up for your conviction. Now, I think I heard the senator who spoke before who said that two-thirds of this assembly, they're Democrats. Now, if I got the numbers wrong, y'all straighten me out, but the bottom line is that the majority of this assembly here in the great state of California, they are Democrats. And I bring up that point because in the state of California, they can't blame it on the Russians. Great. 
great state of California, you will leave. Woo! And as Michael said, Senator Bernie Sanders is really counting on y'all to get this thing done. Yes! Not for himself, but for everybody. Yes. So, as a mother who birthed a son in this world, and I remember that like it was yesterday, even though it was 27 years ago. Sisters, I still got the stretch marks, and I remind my son on a regular basis what a sister had to sacrifice. my side and when the moment came when I was feeling the most pain the doctor said push and breathe yeah. to you California I want you to say that even though it seems dark that darkness that you are experiencing it is not a tomb it is a womb I want you to children. What are you saying? What I am saying to you is that we are a safety net nation. We are a nation that believes in lifting people up and helping folks in their lowest moments. If it was not for Medicaid, I don't know where my mother would have been. She could benefit. She could have benefited from Medicaid, Medicare for all. I speak to you from a personal experience Watching my mother die at such a young age, but always, 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 I carry her memory everywhere that I go. And so if folks want to know why a sister is an angry black woman, I am angry because I am sick and tired. Woo! folks. Shirley Chisholm said, I want you to hold on to the urban poet Tupac. I want you to hold on to the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. And I want you to hold on to President Nelson Mandela and say it with me. It always seems impossible until
women also sorry for these people behind us because we're coming for you. We are definitely coming for you. So we are very serious about this effort, everybody. So thank you all for being here. This concludes the speaking program. What we're going to do is take everything that we've been inspired with today and everything that brought you here today to make sure that this becomes a reality. We've got some messages to send over this weekend. Do we not? Yeah! We've got some messages to send to the California State Legislature. Do we not? Yeah! That health care is a human right, not a privilege, and we are going to pave the way here in California. Thank you. So we are going to start moving out towards the street, towards the right. Follow the crowd. Don's waving over there. This is going to be the beginning of the march where we're going to have some of our leaders and community allies here. And we will be marching down the street and we're going to go down L Street to 11 back to the convention center. So don't worry about the logistics on that. Just follow the crowd and everything will work just fine. All right?